Charles, are you having a beverage while we're filming? Yeah, it's not an adult beverage, though. It is a simply balanced brand. Cucumber mint sparkling water at Target. Sponsor us. We love you. <laughs> Sponsor me, Target. Sponsor me, too. Uh, today, speaking of totally not sponsored content, we are going to talk about the winter FabFitFun box. Charles has never been in a beauty video. No. So he is going to help us out because we're not using my big camera with my tripod, so I'm like holding my phone with this arm. Uh, switching arms now. Uh, so I need somebody to help me and be the, the props master. So, Charles, can you choose one of these items? There's a total of nine. So pick one. Item one. Okay, show it to the camera. Yeah, show it to the camera. Anthropology. Oh, just see, see there you go, there you go. Shiny. It's it's holographic effect. Uh, cocoa nut sugar. I have to read this backwards. It'll probably be okay for you because the iPhone fixes it. But right now it's backwards. Sea whip body cream. Uh, so the first item in the Fat Fit Fun that we're going to talk about, I'm going to recline so my arm is more comfortable. That makes me look so much bigger than you. Oh my God. You have to like come over here so that I look thin and beautiful and you look like a large man. It's better. Uh, so the first item is the, I got my, my magazine so I can tell you about it. It is the Anthropology Times, like collaboration, I guess, with Mer C and Co. C Whip Body Cream in Coconut Sugar. This is a lotion. How much would you pay for a lotion, Charles? Don't look at the price. How much would you pay for a lotion? For this much? For that much lotion. How much would for that much five lotion ounces. Five, five fluid ounces? Two dollars an ounce. So that's ten dollars. Yeah. How many dollars does this cost? Guess what? Not that much. It's more. Uh, $24 for this much. Uh, I don't hate this. I think that it's pretty standard. Let's try it. Lotion. Are you are you going to try it? Yeah. Okay. I have dry skin because I work in healthcare. It has has kind of a strong scent. You don't like that. No. Oh. <laughs> doesn't really smell like coconut at all. It's not coconut. It's coconut sugar. It it's different. It's freaking coconut. <coughs> The illness, it's still in me. Did you just cough up a chunk? No, I didn't. I think you did. I did not. If I did, it's on you now. Chunk right here. I don't know if you notice it. Stop! Stop! She has the illness. Good thing we don't have uh, cybernetically communicative <laughs> diseases yet. You just watch me like hawk a loogie on camera. Otherwise, y'all would have uh, the swine flu. H1N1. All right, Charles, what's your verdict on the lotion? It's a lotion. It's actually quite smooth. It has a lot of moisture in it. Not for a quick moisturization, but He's that still probably rubbing. means it doesn't have a lot of alcohols in it. Uh, he doesn't like the alcohols. To evaporate quickly. Biscuit! Biscuit lost her ball. I'll be back. You continue to talk. I'm going to help the dog. All right. Pause to fix the dog. You can we took a break for some ice cream. We also had some technical difficulties. Yeah, my phone died, which is why we took a break for ice cream. And it deleted a bunch of stuff. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. We're not going to go back and try to create all the comedic magic that just occurred. Because oh, it was really great. But, um, well, let's... First of all, um, let's step back a bit in time to the early 90s and talk about I don't know where this is going. a young rapper named Vanilla Ice. And in the canon of mm. Vanilla Ice, his most famous song is called Ice Ice. I assume there's a comma and then baby. Is there a comma and ice ice baby? Um, and the song opens up mm. after the sample from what's the song? Under, Under pressure, pressure by Queen, Queen featuring David Bowie. Queen featuring David Bowie. He says, "Stop, collaborate and listen." Ice, ice is, is back, back with a brand new invention, and I want to talk about a brand new invention. Um, that would have alleviated our technical difficulties earlier. Uh, and the, grenade, the, the, the great poet and philosopher, Vanilla Ice, brought this to my mind. I would like to show you this invention. It's an iPhone cable. He's trying to make fun of me. The prophet. He spoke to us. The prophet song. Vanilla Ice. In song. What's Vanilla Ice's real name, Charles? Marshall Mathers? That's Eminem. He's another white guy. Okay. 
I finished my ice cream so I can set this down. Like I said, we're not going to go back and try to recreate this, so I'm going to give you the highlights real quick. We talked about the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. It's okay. You put it on overnight. It gives you good skin, uh, and it does a good job. Charles made some comments about how this is made in Israel. I made some comments about how some of my viewers probably do not support the nation of Israel. And Charles said, too bad, so sad, it's on the map. It's on the map. Maps don't care how you feel, I'm sorry. But, just so you know, made in Israel, in case that's something that's important to you. Uh, I like this, but I don't like it, what, $33 worth? To the book. $33, $33 worth, yes. Okay, then we had a lengthy discussion that you also don't get to see about um, the Thrive Cosmetics. Uh, put it on. Brilliant eye brightener. Charles, put it on. What is your review after having it on for approximately 10 minutes? You know, if you're a fair-skinned person who lives in a northern climate, doesn't get a lot of sun in the winter, um, honestly, it kind of makes so you look like you have that eye crust when you wake up in the morning. It's not a great color for me personally, and it kind of made it look like I had eye crust. I mean, it's getting a little bit more subtle now. What do you think? What do you think, Charles? Charles, what do you think? A little more subtle now? I think so. Okay, so it's getting better, but I don't know. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it, and I wouldn't pay 24 bucks for it, but FabFitFun sent it to me, so it's okay. Uh, all right, do you want to talk about the next product? That's the hair mask. Oh, yes. We started to talk about it, and the camera died, so we're going back. The Moroccan Gold Series treatment mask featuring argan oil. Argin, argan. So, story time. Back when Charles and I first started dating, I went to Morocco without him, just on a trip, and I saw how they make argan oil, and it was really fascinating, and it's mostly an industry that's dominated by women, because you have to, like, literally grind up seeds to get this. Uh, fun fact, in Morocco, they eat argan butter like peanut butter, like ground up seeds. So that's kind of cool. But then I was looking at this. There's a hair mask, by the way. It's a hair mask. Argan oil is lower on the ingredients list than the fragrance in here. So there's literally more perfume in here than argan oil. And that made me sad. Charles is done with his ice cream now. So um, I use hair masks all the time. I have a ton of hair, as you can tell. I've got hair for days. And I need a treatment mask because I have naturally curly hair and it gets damaged. And so I use a treatment mask and I really like this one. But I'm kind of upset that they would say it's an argan oil treatment mask when that is, in fact, not really true. It is actually a water and acetyl alcohol treatment mask. First not two great. ingredients. I know that water is, like, always the first ingredient, but for argan oil to be, like, the 15th ingredient and for them to say it's an argan oil thing, that's not great. It's not great. Especially when I know in Morocco you can buy, like, a gallon of argan oil for 20 bucks. And this treatment mask costs... More than I thought it did. $49. That's like $1 away from a grant. A grant! <coughs> a Ulysses S. Grant. A Ulysses S. Grant. So that is my review on the Moroccan Gold Series treatment mask. It's a really good mask. It makes my hair feel really great, but I do not think I'll purchase it. Um, here, next product. Simply balanced. This did not come with a fat food fun. Cucumber mint sparkling water from my favorite store, Target Boutique. Uh, Target, if you're watching this, I would like to uh, give me a spawn. Uh, I'm down for that. This I, shirt came from Target. Hashtag sponsor. I love not your sponsor. clothes. This like warming layer. Starting to do an ad for Target. Came from Target. Can we have another product? Please? Next product. Thank you. Oh no. No, they're coming out of the box. It's fine. It's fine. Put that on my foot. It's really cold. This is called Black. 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 Um, and this is an eye mask featuring hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, yep. Mask poreless use. That is eye mask in French. Anyway, so what these things do. Tell them, Charles. Let me show them to you. They look like apostrophes, honestly. Like apostrophes, yep. So you got apostrophes or like 
quotation marks, maybe. Okay. Um, you don't use them to quote anything. Except perhaps they're kind of like those like football player stripes that they put under the eyes. Uh, I, I put them under my eyes just like football player exactly. stripes. Exactly. Yeah. They're like football player stripes, except apparently they're supposed to take away your like eye puffiness or like... Okay, but like, let's be honest. Charles, do I have eye puffiness? Is that a problem I have? I mean, if you're really tired, you might. I have never had what I would consider eye puffiness in my entire life. Um, I have like dark circles, but these don't really help with that. Um, these do provide some moisture and I do get dry under eyes sometimes. Uh, the whole pack, which is five pairs, is that right? Five pairs is $29 and I like them. Uh, I've used a lot of under eye masks and these, these are all right. These are all right. Um, can I read what's on this, this package? Okay. He's going to read the package. Um, I'll cut it if it's terrible. So maybe this is like, you know, indicating what type of person should be using this product. Okay. And maybe because we're like boring homebodies. Uh, we are boring, yes. This is kind of why we don't eat it. Late nights, too many cheeky wines. And let's not forget, those carb on carb delights can have our peepers looking, well, not so fresh. So there's a hangover cure. Is Leave that what they're the getting evidence at? Of last night behind. Oh, it is a hangover cure. And pop on our activated charcoal. I'm asked to depuff, detox, 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 and get back to your shiny, gorgeous <coughs> self, girl. Mm -hmm. Still sick. Anywho, the mm -hmm was not on the. Did we yet. lose the part where you hocked a loogie on no, your shirt? No, we did. We did. Because that was good. She coughed and she had like this chunk that showed up on her. Shirt. So I'm still sick, but I'm at the part where now everything's like coming out. So that's been fun. Anyway, that was Black Eye Mask. That was Black Eye Mask. Black oh. with a Q. Oh, here's another one. Oh, it. there's Cost just tons of them everywhere. I've um, used two pairs so far. They're, they're all right. Let's see. Next up. Pure with an umlaut. Pure cosmetics. Be your selfie. Pure. Umlaut. All right, pop it open, Charles. Let's see them. I oh, gosh, there's Ooh. all these sparkle and matte colors. Oh, you use the word mad. Oh, don't, no, 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 no. Don't show them the mirror. You put your hand over the mirror. That's like professional blogging. Oh, professional. Yeah, is, professional is blogging. Yeah, yeah. You got to put your hand over the mirror. Is that an actual job? Yes. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Um, okay. Okay. You can put it down. These down. colors? Pure. Yes. Natural. Free. Charming. Alluring. Gorgeous. Fabulous. Strong. Confident. I don't know if those actually indicate anything about the quality of the color. If you want full swatches, they're on my blog link down below. Hey, how about that? Um, so these are. Um, do you like these colors? Makeups, I do. You know, they're nice shades of of. You're like pulling my shirt off. Like nice shades of like metallic oxidation. Not in like a bad Di different, way. Different different shades of rust. But we have like bronzed rust. Um, they're warm brown you know, tones. That's what he's trying to say. Warm brown tones. Warm brown tones. We have some like darker and lighter ones and more reds and more browns and even a peachy one. That's a transition shade. Um, that's Doing what that fine. was called. Um, uh, this eyeshadow palette retails for $36. Uh, made in the PRC for anyone who doesn't know what that is. People's Republic of China. Uh, it says it's cruelty free. Also gluten-free, recyclable, and vegan-friendly. In case you don't want to put glutens on your face. It also says it expires in six months. I've never seen an eyeshadow palette that expires in six months. Usually they, like, last forever. That, that's, that's gluten for you. Uh, forever. Gluten-free. Yeah. Um, I really like this. I've been using it. It has um, four mattes and then five shimmers. Yeah, that makes nine. Good Metallics. job, Kaylee. And they, they, they look they look really nice. Uh, I took this with us when we went to my parents' house for Thanksgiving and I wore it then. It was really nice. I liked it a lot. Uh, would recommend. $36. 36 Apparently. And it's little. It's good for travel, right? It's like hand-sized. Um, oh, here's a thing. Is this, what, what is this a thing? That's a thing, yep. So this is dark. And it is Bite Beauty. Bite made Beauty. in Canada. Amuse-bouche lipstick in meringue color wearing it right now do you know what color meringue is uh hint it's not actually the color White. of meringue 
it's like the color I'm wearing right now. If you ever see a lemon meringue pie and the meringue's that color, don't eat it. Walk away. <laughs> don't buy it. <coughs> but as a lipstick, does it look nice? It looks nice, and personally, if I was a marketer, I may have picked a different name. All their names are foods, though. Well, I know, but like I would call this like kidney bean, which I know probably wouldn't sell, but it's kidney ac- beans would be dark though. Kidney beans are like kidney no, color. No, 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 not dark red kidney beans. Light red kidney beans. Maybe like pinto. Pinto bean. Pinto bean. I would call that pinto bean. Yeah, it's a pinto pinto bean shade. Uh, so Bite Beauty has a special place in my heart. It's a Canadian brand. My heart, my heart, my soul, my soul. <coughs> you made me cough with that. Um, so Bite Beauty, I love their Muse Bouche lipsticks. We went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in Toronto and made some lipsticks. Uh, two of them, blog post, link down below. And it's my favorite lipstick formula. I love them. They're made out of all edible ingredients, and so that's really kind of nice. And they're just like a good product um they're a little on the pricey side this lipstick is 26 dollars you like staring at the price in disbelief 26 dollars 26 dollars which i mean let's get real i've paid more than that for a lipstick that i like less so yeah um that's my beauty i'm a fan and i like this color it suits me really well it's i think it's a little light if we're being honest but not as light as a meringue but uh, I still like it. Okay, Charles, I think we have one last item. I'm gonna go off camera for a second here. Oh God, I don't know what he's doing. This is gonna be terrible. Take me to the nunnery! <laughs> the nunnery! Um, you know, YouTube. There was a point in my life when I was oh, like, I this, this man. He is the one for me for the rest of my life. The last item is a color block throw blanket from Mark and Graham. You had the choice of two colors. This is the color I chose. It is natural ivory. If we're being legit, Charles chose this color because the other choice was white and we figured it would be dirty. And? Because we have a dog who's now joined us on the couch. You know, it, it when Easter season comes, you can put this on and you can sing along to the classic movie, The Ten Commandments. When Moses was in Egypt's land, let my people go. They don't really sing in The Ten Commandments. There's that song that has also featured a cover version in Ferris Bueller's Day Off with a slight lyric change to Cameron instead of Moses. Do you like the throw blanket? You know, it makes me look like perhaps I could be like in those military movies when there's like the British guy who's like undercover in like Egypt and he's like wearing like his like desert scarf and he's like. "Mm -hmm." So is it a good blanket or not? It's soft. It is soft. It is soft. Had kind of a funk smell when I first got it. That's kind of wear it off. Kind of that like burlapy smell, but yeah, it's like a, a soft burlap. burlap. But it's starting to. Starting I don't know how off. I feel about the fringe. To be honest, I feel like it might get yanked on and it might fray because it's not really. I would not say that this is a particularly high quality blanket, but it is a fine blanket. It's not a low quality blanket. Right. I mean, this blanket was fifty dollars. Is that like a good blanket price? Why I shop at Target. This is why I shop at Target. Right. Get a blanket there for fourteen ninety five. That's great. It lasts forever. Target sponsored me. But somehow FabFitFun is like, hey, we'll put all this stuff in the box for like so many bucks. I will say I really like FabFitFun. I always enjoy my boxes. I think they're really great. Some issues I have. Some of the stuff in here. Seems crazy, artificially high priced. I'm gonna give you some examples. So, you get you get choices when you're a FabFitFun annual subscriber. You get some choices. So here are some things I did not pick: a like winter headband and glove set. Okay, how much would you pay for that? Forty five bucks? I don't think so. Um, you remember those necklaces I got? That was made out of like cheap metal. It's made out of, like cheap aluminum. They have another one in here, forty nine dollars. It's like I don't think so. Uh, Orbe actually cost 44 bucks, but like, they didn't set that price. Um, there's some like other stuff like that where I'm like, 
hey, you should stop this. There was a jade stone roller, and I saw on Reddit a bunch of people's like snapped in half the first time they used them. Forty-five dollars. Because it was actually made of jade and it's a fragile material. It wasn't actually made of jade. Oh, it was made out of plastic. So, uh, that was this winter's fat fit fun. We're gonna like cut him out of the frame because he looks like oh my a suit. hill person. Um, <laughs> stop. With the sound of oh, we can. We can talk about the sound of music a different night. Oh, yes. <coughs> <coughs> there he is. Yum. Oh, I'm back. Uh, so that is all we have for tonight. I uh, want to say thank you for following along with our vlogmas. Uh, that was this month's. Uh... Hi, me again. Uh, we were totally done vlogging, but then our wedding invitations arrived. They're super cute. I want to show them to you. They have all of our information on it. So I can't. But they're really cute. That is all. Bye.